Hello and thank you for coming to check this out. This is going to be a very quick guide for beginners about how to use the offset tiling filter in Motion 5. It's something I learned to do a long time ago when I started Motion. I learned it from Mark Spencer with the Ripple training course about particles and emitters. And since then it's just been a really useful tool. Uh, it's often an easier alternative to emitters and replicators depending on what you want to do. It can save you a lot of time and just make the project a lot easier. It works by shifting an image or a graphic in a specific direction by offsetting it. So you can see it here, it's acting on the clouds to push them this way through the mask to sell the idea that the blimp is flying through the sky. I've used it for promotional displays like this. This is for a local computer shop and it's just pushing tracks of brands and images and text across the screen. And in this example, same thing, uh, it's used to just push uh, graphics and images in a specific direction. It has a lot of uses, so it's really versatile. And as I said, it's often easier than a replicator or emitter. So let's have a quick look at how to set it up. I have this tree line graphic that I did in Affinity Designer and I've exported it as a PDF and brought it into motion. So to set up the offset filter it's really easy. I will select the graphic. I'll come up here to the filters menu. I'm going to choose tiling offset. So the tools are now available in the inspector in the filters section. So if I move this slider here, you can see pretty much what the offset filter is doing. But if I was to play the project, nothing's going to happen. So we could keyframe this, but as I learned in Ripple Training, there's an easier way to do it. We're going to add the parameter behavior rate. And now I can set a value in here, minus will move it this way and a positive value will move it the other way but if I play the project now we have a, a good simple animation so there you go, very simple to set up with this airship animation It's really just a mask with the blimp graphic moving through. The blimp is animated completely with behaviors here. On the y-axis, there's the oscillate behavior moving it up and down. And there's a ramp parameter behavior acting on the x-axis, so a behavior on the y, a behavior on the x gives us the animation across and up and down. And the clouds are being pushed this way through the mask with an offset tile. So I'm going to put this project file up for you to download, just this airship and the clouds if you want to try it for yourself. When you open the project file, when you download it, Motion will tell you that there's missing media. So you need to point Motion at the two PDF files. One will be clouds and the other one will be the blimp. This back part of the blimp, the spinning propeller, that is going to be uh, working as normal. But it will just be missing this image here. It's following the blimp with a link behavior right here and it's being rotated by this rate behavior on the Z rotation. Anyway you can open up the project file and see how everything's working. This is a good example of how behaviors in motion can create a good looking animation uh, without any keyframing and how the 
offset tiling filter is really a good, in my opinion, in this situation, a better alternative than using replicators or emitters. Okay, I th hope that this was useful. Thanks for watching.